Hey folks, Saturday morning rant. Here's what I want to talk about. So I was kicking it with my man today and we were talking about him pitching to a rich person about something he wants to do. And I was like, bro, with all due respect, like think bigger, like you think it's small. And I've always been a person that's like, think bigger, think bigger, think bigger. Like, because like it takes just as much fucking energy to do something big as to do something small. In fact, in some ways, it's actually easier to do something monumental, you know, significant, audacious, bold. Um, because like people think you're crazy to begin with. And in some ways, people are attracted to that kind of craziness, especially when the world is the way it is now. Like right now, the world is in dire need of good ideas. Like we're fucking up all over the place. Like there's soup lines fucking up and down the block. There's wars, there's all sorts of shit that ain't going well. And good ideas don't make it to the front of the table when everything's going well, because no one gives a fuck, everyone's chilling. But in bad times, great ideas make it to the front of the table because people are looking for ideas. So I was trying to tell my man, like, yo, man, think bolder. Like, think if you're in front of somebody that got the kind of money that could fund your vision, like, be bold. And when I look at the criminal justice reform movement, part of why it's kind of stuck is that there's nobody out there right now proposing shit that like makes them the target of everyone else's vitriol. Like nobody's angry at nobody around big, bold ideas. And you know what that means? That means that everybody's fucking complacent and being mediocre. And that's not a disrespect to the people I know who are actually on the grind doing good work because I think they're executing on some of the bold ideas from years ago and that work needs to happen. But we also need people out there proposing bold new shit that scare the shit out of everybody. Like, if you ain't scaring the shit out of... If you ain't making motherfuckers feel like they might lose their jobs because they might actually solve a fucking problem, then you ain't really doing the work. I remember when I proposed uh, Just Leadership USA, the organization organization that I built um, and that I brought to life and that I raised a shitload of money for um, and that I got attacked for and that I got uh, became the target around. Like, people were like, what the fuck? Like, were you saying that formerly incarcerated people need to be in leadership? Like... They knew what that meant. They knew that meant some of the money was going to dry up for people that weren't directly impacted. And some people took it too far and they assumed that that meant they couldn't be in the movement. And they couldn't help. I've never said that. Like, I need people in the movement. If you're going to if you're going to do a movement in the U.S., you need all types of people involved. But my larger point is this. I proposed some shit that people were like, what the fuck? Like the idea that directly impacted people can do uh, their own work raise their own money, build their own organization, run their own campaigns, was some scary shit back then. But that was back then. That shit is mediocre now. It's mediocre. Like if I proposed an organization now that trains formerly incarcerated people to be in leadership, people like, yeah, okay, we get it. Like that shit is happening already. In fact, lots of formerly incarcerated people running their organization. In fact, you know, I would say people closest to the problem, closest to the solution. There's some versions of people closest to the problem being the fucking problem. Like that's how well formerly incarcerated people are doing that. They're running organizations now where they actually have emerged as part of the problem in some cases. But putting that aside, what I think the movement needs right now is people who are being bolder, who are proposing shit. Like the Rikers, the closed Rikers stuff was ambitious. Like reentry organizations was like, fuck you, we make money running programs on right. I wouldn't say it publicly, but behind the scene, they didn't like the idea of closing Rikers. It's probably why it's still not closed yet to this date. You know, we got a date 10 years down the line. Why? Because even the reentry programs was on the side of government in the idea that somehow it takes a decade to shut down Rikers, even though it took like a year to build the Empire State Building. Um, you get my point though, right? Like, if you're not proposing bold shit, then like get the fuck out the way and let other people who are bold propose bold shit and stop threatening them um, because that just diminishes ideas, diminishes movement, kills the movement. Anyway, I know that's what the fuck most of y'all are aiming for because mediocrity is the name of the game, especially when you're earning a bunch of money running some mediocre fucking nonprofit that's not really changing shit, even though you're saying you're organizing. But in the end, you're getting bullshit outcomes because you're capitulating and selling people the fuck out instead of running a movement that's based on the people most impacted where you'd have the most courage in leadership. Um, so we just... I just feel like we need to see more of that, especially right now. Like I'm sitting in Harlem, I'm looking out my car right now. I'm looking at this long ass fucking soup line. It's dark outside. It's like, it just feels dreary. Like people are fucking hurt and harmed and, and stressed and under pressure and experiencing poverty. And I know what the fuck happens in those moments. These are the moments where mass incarceration were built. 
you know, prisons are the response to our policies that have failed everywhere else. Education, housing, healthcare, you name it. Like the response to it is prison. And that hasn't changed. I don't give a fuck. We had a 20 year run and I have helped lead that effort. And I'd be the first person to say that in the end for the amount of fucking money that was invested in us, like the, the, the changes that we've seen are fucking margin, marginal at best mediocre mediocre like we had a couple of bright moments where we were able to really change some shit but the truth is what we all created was a fucking cottage industry for a lot of us to be employed yelling and screaming and saying that we're running effective programs when the truth is that you know the kind of change that we all say we want to see rhetorically is not what we're seeing but most importantly there's no leaders right now out there saying, yo, we need to turn this shit upside down. Why? Because people are super complacent with what they've built because everyone is fucking feeding, you know, even though some a bunch of people have gotten marginalized, those people are gone. Some people need to be marginalized, but there's a bunch of people that are feeding from the fucking trough and that is inspiring them not to say anything bold. If you don't have a natural fucking predator in this work, if you're not out there doing advocacy and organizing and activism and whatever else you do, research, policy, whatever, like if you don't have people out there saying that what you're doing is threatening to the current status quo, then you're probably not really doing anything impactful. You really are not, and people are suffering. And I'm not, you know, I'm not an abolitionist out here yelling that we need to get rid of every jail tomorrow because I think that's bullshit too. I think that's just a fucking Wesleyan student on a fucking gap year with nothing to do. But at the same time, like we need to be bolder. There are people dying. There are people fucking suffering. And there's a lot of money passing through this criminal justice reform movement. I know some of y'all are angry. I've been hearing people have been telling me like, yo, you're getting people pissed off. You're pissing people off. I'm literally pissing off some of the people that would stand to benefit the most from the movement uh, tilting towards the things they say they care about or maybe it's just the people who actually never gave a fuck in the first place and I'm rocking the boat on some shit that they they are feeding off of and you know if that's who you are then I don't give a fuck like you're not my people you've never been my people um, so the, if there's other people out there that are doing good work and you think somehow I'm rocking the boat I'm not rocking the fucking boat you need to be rocking the fucking boat you need to be rocking I'm not even in this fucking movement I'm like on the outside, I'm not rocking the boat, I'm just telling the truth about what the fuck I see. And I'm telling you that there's people in prison suffering, people on probation suffering, people on electronic monitoring suffering, people on parole suffering, people that want you to be fucking bolder. Like, yeah, you need a paycheck, everybody needs a paycheck. Anyone who knows me knows that I believe you can do good and do well. But at the point where you're doing well, like execute, do some shit, put your well at threat. Like, say some shit that scares the shit out of you and makes you not know if you're gonna have your fucking job tomorrow. And if that's not what you're doing, just get the fuck out the way. There's other ways to earn money. I heard Target is hiring. Anyway, that's my rant. That's what I gotta say. I'm about to go get me some brunch and some coffee and chill out in Harlem and most importantly, not let a motherfucker steal my rainbow. You shouldn't let anybody steal your rainbow either. Peace.